everybody. This is Stuart Schlossman again from MS Views and News, and I wanted to speak with you this week about the visual problems that we have with multiple sclerosis. Of course, like most other symptoms of MS, not everybody is affected by visual problems, but for those that are, I wanted to um, read from the National MS Society's website information for you about nystagmus and about double vision, and about optic, neuro optic neuritis. So, please uh, just listen to what's going to be said, and then you'll see me again later, okay? Thank you, and uh, we'll s speak with you again visually at the end of the narration. Bye-bye. Okay, so continuing here in narration only, because I'm reading to you from the National MS Society's website on visual symptoms and, um, and, and what people can expect um, if they have these problems. Visual symptoms are common in people with MS but rarely result in total blindness. With regards to optic neuritis, the visual symptoms that occur in MS may be the result of optic neuritis, inflammation of the optic nerve or lesions, damaged areas, along the nerve pathways that control eye movements and visual coordination. Optic neuritis may result in blurring or graying of vision or blindness in one eye. A scotoma or a dark, dark spot may occur in the center of the visual field. Optic neuritis is always self-limiting and patients generally make a good recovery. Studies suggest that treatment with intravenous methylprednisone sometimes followed by a tapered course of oral steroids may be useful. With regards to uncontrolled eye movements, nystagmus or uncontrolled horizontal or vertical eye movements is another common symptom. Nystagmus may be mild, only occurring when the person looks to the side or it may be severe enough to impair vision. Some drugs and special prisms have been reported to be successful in treating the visual deficits caused by nystagmus and a related movement disorder, opscolonus, which causes jumping vision. Just so you all know, I often get the jumping vision and the nystagmus. Another form of visual problems with MS is double vision. Diplopia, or double vision, occurs when the pair of muscles that control our particular eye movements are not perfectly coordinated due to weakness in one or both pairs of muscles. When the images are not properly fused, the MS patient perceives a false double image. Double vision may increase with fatigue or overuse of the eyes, for example, with extended reading or computer work, and improves with rest. Resting the eyes periodically throughout the day can be beneficial. Diplopia usually resolves, with, usually resolves without treatment. In some causes, or cases rather, a brief course of corticosteroids may be helpful. Patching one eye can also be useful for driving or other short tasks, but is not recommended for long periods of time since it will slow the brain's ability to accommodate to the problem. Special lenses are rarely recommended because the symptom tends to be transitory. For more information about optic neuritis, double vision, or nystagmus, you should visit the National MS Society's website and do a search of either of these items. Thank you very much, and let's continue now with the visual aspect of this podcast. Okay, so I hope that you were able to understand what I just read to you about the visual symptoms that can occur with multiple sclerosis. Um, I too, like I mentioned, have these problems at times, and I'm sure many of you as well. I would love for you to comment about this. Um, go to our blog or Facebook page and tell us your thoughts or what problems you might have on visual symptoms. Uh, by the way, um, these podcasts are something that we're going to need sponsorships for. If you have a health-related company of any type, of any, any type, then we are looking to get sponsors to help us um, with the recording process and the uploading to 
the uploading work that needs to be done because I have to hire a one person to do the web work to put all this on our blogs on up to YouTube um, blending in the, 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 the recordings with the video and so on and so forth and it's just a lot involved so you know again if you have any type of health related company we would love to have you as a sponsor of this and at the beginning and the end of each of these podcastings we will show your logo and a URL to your website. Also, the newsletter will be able to accommodate your logo as well. Um, visit msviewsandnews.org, look at our sponsorship page, or contact me or write to info at msviewsandnews.org if you have any questions about sponsorships or anything to do with multiple sclerosis. Thank you, and have a great week. Bye-bye.